Hey, good morning. Yes, yeah, ski season right around the corner. Uh, Patrick Arcavel is with us this morning. Uh, it's the uh, Toronto Snow Show brought to you by the Canadian Ski Council. Uh, it starts Thursday all the way through Sunday. You're here yeah. to show us some of the new, cool, and uh, also functional yeah. uh, materials. Absolutely. Obviously not the most popular guy talking about snow in October. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, if you, some of the technology we have today, and we'll see with some of our models, there's really no reason to be cold in, in the winter. Um, so, it, I mean, what you can see wearing here, I mean, the apparel has gotten so advanced in terms of technology with moisture wick, wicking fabrics, um, taped seams, we have Gore-Tex shells. I mean, the, the big thing for these guys now is trying to determine the technology to cool them down. Um, so this outfit that Saj is wearing here is, a, is from 686. It's a three-piece attire. Um, both the jacket and, and pant are, are removable uh, into a one-piece. What's interesting is he's also wearing a utility belt Right. Uh, from 686 and that utility belt is a three uh, wrench two screwdriver as well as even a bottle opener uh, for right there on, <laughs> on the hill um, so that's a great uh, new release from from 686 smart um, the boots themselves I mean you can see they've almost become like running shoes they're they're yeah. so fashionable they weigh absolutely nothing they give you supportive flex and easy in and out um, and the goggles it's important to see and the goggles yeah. um, have the the technology now in those lenses where you can really adapt to any light and 686 has even released a, a version with a built-in camera and the goggles uh, lens changes with, with the light. What are the uh, colors of the season right now? What's, what's happening out there in terms of color? Um, is it... Is it traditional like monotone is it bright it depends it, on the day and, yeah. and so it's important to be able to adapt to those conditions and ensure you're, you're getting the best visibility you can right. and the goggles have just gotten so advanced that there's you know there's really no light that you shouldn't be able to see let's talk about kids too. this is the stuff that's important to me this year yeah. and so as my little guy learns for the first time um, this is a a, a a kid ski from from Elan and it's uflex technology but what's nice about this ski is that it actually adjusts to three different boot sizes so as your little guy grows uh, you you're able to, to stick with the same ski. But you got the ski swap there too, so if they're growing and evolving, yeah. you can Yeah, so at the show this weekend, we have Canada's largest ski swap, and so it's put on by the Canadian Ski Patrol. We have over 10,000 square feet of, uh, of new and used gear, so you can even bring your old stuff if you're not in the market to, to just buy. You can bring your old stuff and sell it at the swap. Yeah, this here too is for this training? Is, yeah, this is to help your, 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 your son or daughter learn. So this is a training device that actually attaches to their pack, and, it's, and it tethers you to them, so as you're training them, they don't just go go launching down the hill at full speed right and so this is an important training tool as your kids get out there for the first time nothing like putting your kid on a leash yeah absolutely <laughs> on the hill for sure of course we have some of the uh, that wear for our heads and our hands yeah, it's, I mean, these things have really become fashion statements, and so this is artwork-inspired mitts. I mean, if they're not a conversation starter on the chairlift, I don't know what is. Um, and so they, they're, they're really designed not only to keep you warm, but look you fashionable with, with the rest of the gear. Um, and with snowboarding, is it still being outrageous out there? Is, uh, should your outfits look that outrageous color expression? Yeah, I mean, it's good to look unique out there. And this, this snowboard itself is, uh, actually has a, a spine infused in the center of the board to allow you to, to get them in the parks with a little bit more durability as we saw in the, the Sochi Olympics this year with the slope style premiering. Um, and this binding here is actually designed with a 3D printer and uses no glue whatsoever. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, and gives you real support and flex all in one. And then head protection, of course. We always recommend wearing a helmet. Right. And helmets, this is, have gotten incredibly durable. They're comfortable. Fleece lined to keep you warm. They even have an integrated sound system in them now for the long chairlift lines or, or weights. And so um, we really recommend them and, and certainly have come a long way. So the show, of course, runs Thursday all the way through Sunday. There's lots to see and do there. Yeah, it's over 100,000 square feet of retailers, manufacturers, we have an outdoor competition with pro-ams, we have some Olympic athletes there on Friday and Saturday signing autographs, so there's really the entire industry under one roof. And it's all at the International Centre, so that's this weekend. Remember, winter around the corner, I never said it, it's his fault. It's, it's coming. His, it's his fault. Just remember his name's Patrick. All tweets to him, okay? We're going to take a break right now from Breakfast Television, and it is indeed.